In this video, I've trained 100 elite AI soldiers to fight off entire hordes of AI zombies. And despite the numeric disadvantage, the fight was brutal. But what would happen if five of them get trapped on a rooftop and have nowhere to run? Let's find out this and much more in the ninth episode of Epic AI Wars. Alright, I wonder what shall I add next to the simulation? Let me see what the comments are saying. I would like to see them fight in a different map for a change. Possibly there are basic structures for the fight, not in the flood zone, but in the map. Also, they have a great deal of changes in the past. D-Day map, maybe. With bunkers. Okay, okay, I get it. You don't like the old map. I get it. Fine. We will have a different map at the end of this video, but first I just wanted to see whether it is possible for only 100 AI musketeers to withstand a horde of 2500 AI zombies. While zombies have only one health point and are easily unalived, or un unalived, <laughs> they are very dangerous at close range. If a zombie manages to hit a soldier, that dude will immediately fall flat and, most importantly, soon after he will be resurrected as a zombie joining the team of undeads. Thus, keeping distance will prove crucial for the musketeers. If you want more information about the agents and how exactly they work, you can check out the previous episodes in the series. I have started training 100 zombies against 25 musketeers in our beloved mosh pit. Spawning everyone in such a close proximity will increase the chances of accidentally unaliving someone, resulting in the AI learning faster that their goal is the total destruction of their opponent. Hmm. I sure hope that when the AI uprising begins, my AI agents will be on my side. <clears throat> you know, Mark Twain once said, never argue with an idiot, they will drag you down to their level and beat you with experience. While true, he forgot to mention that you also should never fight a zombie, since you will also become one. That's exactly what happened on round 4 when zombies have managed to convert every single musketeer securing their first victory. It seems zombies found the taste of dumb dumb brain to be delicious, because the next rounds they managed to win two more times, until on round 10 I made the teams spawn on different sides of the map allowing the musketeers to finally make use of their main advantage, range. Unfortunately, I have missed the round when musketeers secured their first victory, but on round 49 we can clearly see how the musketeers first take care of the main zombie wave rushing towards them. And then they start pushing themselves, eliminating the remaining zombies, securing the sixth victory for humanity. After figuring out their opponents, musketeers were easily erasing the zombie plague round after round. When and finally, I have decided to increase the amount of zombies from 100 to 200 and went to bed leaving them to train overnight. Few hours and a great sleep later and I was pleasantly surprised when I saw that the humanity is still able to withstand the zombie crisis, winning over 600 times. But enough talking, after about 25 hours of training, here is the final result. We will have 2500 zombies fighting against 100 musketeers. Pause this video right now and let me know in the comments, who do you think is gonna win? Humanity or the zombies? Right off the bat, the immense zombie wave rushes towards the musketeers with only one goal in mind. Well, if they have one. And that is the total annihilation of the humankind. Musketeers are putting up a really good fight, keeping the main chunk of their opponents at bay, however some of them manage to get their rotting hands on our fellow humans, resulting in several casualties for the humanity team. Despite eliminating about 1000 zombies already, I'm not sure for how long the musketeers will be able to keep this going, since the zombies are getting closer and closer. Looks like the frontline soldiers did not manage to run away in time or decided to sacrifice themselves in an attempt to slow down the attack, but they got engulfed by the undead. Just like a school of fish, the zombie horde synchronously changes direction heading to the southern musketeers. Zombies are making huge progress despite being down to less than 1000 units and the musketeers will soon get cornered and overwhelmed. Looks like the undead managed to reach even the backline soldiers now. I'm afraid the doom of humanity is inevitable at this moment. While the bravery and skill of the last few standing soldiers is admirable, killing around 400 more zombies, soon enough they also got caught and joined the zombie squad. 
And that was a close one. Looking at this huge wave of zombies moving in unison reminded me of this comment from HumanTN5QQ where he suggests the idea to have randomized stats for the agents. In theory, this should result in a more diverse and interesting behavior as well as smarter AIs in general. So I started training once again. This time, there were 25 musketeers training against 50 zombies that will have randomized movement speed. There wasn't much happening during the training, so I won't bore you with that, but after 10 hours of training, here is the final result. Once again, we'll have only 100 musketeers, but this time they will fight 1000 zombies with randomized move speeds. The zombie horde ain't waiting and proceeds to rush forward through the bullet rain, the main fight taking place towards the center and north of the map, where the density of musketeers and zombies is the highest. The southern side, however, seems to have a weaker defense and some zombies are making use of it, getting closer and closer to the musketeers. As the horde is getting closer, the red army is slowly backing up while keeping a steady fire rate, not allowing the zombies to break through. Team Undead has now lost more than half of its units, while humanity had only 4 casualties so far. While their defense game is indeed strong, you should also notice that the amount of friendly fire is extremely low. You might be wondering how I fixed that. Well, same way I solve any problem with my AI agents. By adding more punishment. And just as I say that, this poor fella gets executed from behind by one of his teammates. <laughs> Noise. The battle kept on going for a few more minutes where musketeers, after getting rid of the main chunk of opponents, proceeded to hunt down and eliminate the zombies that got scattered across the map. And just like that, humanity eradicated the zombie plague. Hooray! I then decided to increase the amount of zombies by 500 and the results were totally different. Alright, alright, now the fun just begins. Enough of this boring map. Let's explore the canonical situation in survival movies where a group of soldiers is stuck on a rooftop with the only exit being blocked by a horde of zombies. We will have a team of 5 Apex AI musketeers fight off 100 zombies while being constrained to this small roof. Zombies will be spawned on the left roof and the musketeers will be spawned on the right one, having only this wooden plank in between. This time, the agents will have to learn not to fall off the roof, especially the zombies who will have to rush the other rooftop. Initially, I forgot to add the death logic for falling agents, so I ended up with dudes on the bottom just casually chilling. That explains why they were not learning as fast as I expected. I mean, why rush and die when you can chill with the boys on the bottom of the map? I did fix that eventually and the amount of bungee jumpers immediately started decreasing with every round zombies getting closer and closer to their enemies. But enough talking, after training the agents for over 30 hours on this new map, here is the final result. Right off the bat, the horde starts rushing towards the wooden plank, few zombies falling over but the main chunk managing to keep balance. Musketeers grouped together are putting up a real fight slaughtering all the incoming targets. It seems however that few of the zombies managed to pass on the other roof, forcing the musketeers to slowly back up. The fight has now officially moved on the second roof, where musketeers are still holding their ground firmly and now that the zombie numbers have been significantly reduced, musketeers are slowly but surely pushing them off. Only 5 more zombies are left and they are dealt with right now, while not a single musketeer has been unalived. Another win for humanity! And the MVP of this run is Red Nugget, scoring a whooping 22 zombie kills, followed by Spartan King and Pogo, both having 20 kills each. K Burnout and LND plays secured 3rd place with 19 kills each. I have also tried 50 musketeers versus 500 and 1000 zombies on the rooftop, but this video has been already taking too long, so you can check the final time lapse on my Patreon page. Huge thanks for the support to my Patreon subscribers Kabernaut, Spartan King, Red Nugget, and LND Plays. You are the legends. 
If you also want to be part of my future videos, get a shout out at the end of each video, get access to exclusive content or simply want to support my channel, consider subscribing to my Patreon page, link in the description. Oh, and if you want to see a specific soldier type in the next episode of Epic AI Wars, there is an ongoing contest on my Discord server where you can let me know about your soldier ideas and the winner will get added to the simulation. The contest will be over at the end of this weekend, so hurry up, link in the description. I was actually planning on releasing an AI learns to survive video with our boy Chicos, but the dum dum is struggling to learn how to properly hold tools, so until he figures it out, consider checking out this other video where little Pogo tried to tackle his daddy issues. Bye!